Alright, good evening everybody. It's your boy Keenan. Welcome to today's final vlog. Here to talk about the Holiday Bowl matchup. This is going to be a great game between UCLA and Baylor. I really think the Holiday Bowl produces a lot of great offenses and I think this is going to be plenty of fireworks in this matchup for both offenses for the Bruins and the Bears. First we want to talk about the Bears. They ended up closing their season off pretty well winning four of their final five games only losing to Oklahoma. This is a great 7-5 team and they were very competitive this season especially in the game against West Virginia. That was a great matchup and this is a high explosive offense led by quarterback Nick Florence who kept the passing attack going even without Robert Griffin III who left for the National Football League. Nick Florence actually had a better passing yard season thus far than Robert Griffin III. 4,121 yards passing while, to, while throwing for 31 scores and he has a couple of great skill players of, behind, around him like the receivers Tevin Reese and All-American Terrence Williams. He was actually a, a, a Fred Belitnikoff finalist as the nation's best receiver. 1,764 yards receiving and 12 touchdowns. Eight over 18 yards per reception. He's a big time deep ball threat and he's actually one of my top five receivers coming into the 2013 NFL Draft. He's a great target for Nick Florence. As well as Tevin Reese, just under uh, 900 yards, 889 yards receiving and eight touchdowns. And they have a good running back behind him in Lachey Seastrunk. He's actually averaging 7.6 yards per carry, rushed for just over um, just under 900 yards, 874 to be exact. And he has his height, his, his his sights on winning the Heisman next season. And I think he can have a great few years as a junior. This is a great running back, good skill players all around him. Now on the defensive side, they give up a lot of points. 33, 38 points per game. The only player that I'm going to be looking at is Eddie Lakey, the middle linebacker. Four interceptions this season to go along with the team leading 99 tackles. He's a great, um, uh, he's a pretty good um. Linebacker for this defense, but the defense, the players surrounding him are not too good, giving up 38 points per game. This is going to be a high shootout in this matchup. Now for UCLA, this is under their first season head coach, Jim Moore, and he had a great year winning the Pac-12 South Championship and making it to the Pac-12 Championship, just come up short by just three points, losing 27-24 to to Stanford and losing their trip to make it to the Rose Bowl. But they had a great year, and I'm really looking forward to see what will upcoming and will happen later on in the upcoming couple of seasons in college football for the UCLA Bruins because they have a good quarterback and a good running back quarterback um, combination and Brent Hundley at quarterback and Jonathan Franklin at running back. Now Franklin is a senior and he was a dope Walker finalist, rushed for over 1,600 yards and he is the UCLA leading rusher all time. He's a great running back and he's a good player behind Brent Huntley. Now Huntley is just a freshman so he has a couple more years left in his career and I think he can uh, produce, um, have so much potential to make it and make it to New York and win the Heisman. He's a good Heisman candidate for next season in my opinion he's a great quarterback he's a good time dual threat but he had 2600 yards passing and over 3,000 yards 26 26 yards passing touchdowns and over 3,100 yards passing. He's a great quarterback, and I really see what happens later on in the future. I think with Jim Moore staying at head coach, Brett Hundley, and the UCLA Bruins, they could take more trips to the Pac-12 Championship and earn a trip to the Rose Bowl. This is a great team overall. Now, I already mentioned um, Jonathan Franklin, but they also have a good tight end and Joseph Fiora. 578 yards receiving and 11 touchdowns. He's a big, se big time senior and one of my tight end prospects for the 2013 NFL Draft. Now on the defensive side, they have a stud at defensive end and junior Anthony Barr. He's still leading the nation with 13 and a half sacks this season. He's a great edge pass rusher, and I'm going to see him um, um, see how well he performs in the up in this game and to see how he performs in the NFL Combine if he goes to the um, NFL Draft. This seems that he is eligible. He's a great defensive end, and I think he's going to penetrate that line of scrimmage a lot and get to quarterback Nate from Florence, Nick Florence a couple of times. 
But for this matchup, I'm actually going to go with the upset and go with Baylor over UCLA. This is going to be a shootout between these two teams, and Baylor's offense is going to be able to keep up with UCLA's offense, even though their defense gives up so many points. I really think that offense for Baylor is just going to pull off the upset and get enough points to edge out UCLA. This is going to be a great matchup, just like Baylor's matchup last season against Washington. I think that same game can repeat this year. Watch, I'm talking about the Alamo Bowl last season when they played Washington. Robert Griffin III was the quarterback. I think Nick Florence can repeat that performance as well as quarterback Brent Henley. I think this is going to be a good quarterback duel, but I'm going to go with the Baylor Bears as my upset, one of my upset games in this college football bowl season over the UCLA Bruins. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys, and you're going to see me throughout the uh, college football bowl season, we still have a lot of games to talk about. I will most likely catch you guys tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys then. Thank you for watching today's vlogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.